Hello my gorgeous roses, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very festive Christmas makeup look. This is something that I like to do sort of for Christmas day or for a Christmas party, something like that. So yeah, if you guys like to see how I create my festive makeup look, then just keep watching this video. So to start this look, I'm going to prime my face with a Touche Eclat Blur Primer, just because it's got that sort of glittery sort of sparkness to it and I really want this to be a dewy look. Because my skin is actually dry anyway, this just really, really helps. So I'm going to be using that. And then for foundation, I'm going to mix a couple together. So the ones I'm using today is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. And I'm in the shade Desert Beige, or well, it's the one I, I bought. And I'm going to mix that with my trusted Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum in the shade 53 Light Beige. And then I'm just going to use my trusted Real Techniques complexion sponge, which I've dampened so it's like massive. And then I'm just going to pad all this in. Cookie! <laughs> She's wobbling the camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> Moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using the Radiance Reveal Concealer by Bourjois. This I'm just going to pop in the usual places. And then taking my um, sponge again, I'm just going to pat that all in. And then just to set that in place, I take my Lorette Pro Contour Palette and I just take the middle shade here. Um, with my sponge, I'll just sort of dip it in and I literally just pat, just swipe this underneath. Just because I'm lazy and this is so quick and easy to do, especially in the mornings. And I have to say, actually, it really, really works. <laughs> and then just use whatever's left just to set the rest. Okay, so that's pretty much my base sort of covered. Next I'm going to move on to my eyebrows and I'm going in with my Benefits Cabral thing. I've spoken about this on my channel before. Again, absolutely love, 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 love this. So I'm just going to apply this real quick and I'm just going to zoom through this bit because this is pretty boring, pretty standard, so. better so eyebrows are done. Next I'm just going to go back to the face just to finish off and do a little bit of contour. So for me whether it's summer, winter, spring, autumn I like to contour. It's just my thing. It's what I do. So to, again I'm going to use my Lorac contour palette. I'm going to take the medium contour here and then I just like to use on a sort of fluffy brush. This is a blank Camas Cosmetics F15. Um, just to blend it in because I don't want it to be too harsh. So I'm just going to, to apply that. All in the usual spots, so down the side of my temples, just on the perimeters of the face, just to bring a bit of definition and depth back in, and just to warm my face up a little bit. And you can see sort of the difference straight away, and I really, really like this. And then blush before I move on to the eyes I'm going to be using my Revolutions blush palette in Hot Spice um, I think they changed the packaging now but these are quite I've had these for quite a while so it just looks like that this shade here And then just a little bit of highlight. I'm going to be using a Revolution palette again. This one's in Golden Sugar. Looks just like this. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, a mixture of these two shades here. So again, popping that on the top of my cheekbones, down the centre of my nose, a little bit on the cupid's bow. Right, now moving on to eyes. I'm going to start with this from Kathleen Lights' quad. This is the shade Glow, and this is one of their Super Shock Shadows. Let's <laughs> say that five times fast. It's just a really pretty base color. Taking that on my finger, I'm just gonna pop this on my eyelid. Just 
And then I'm just going to pop a little transition colour in the crease. So I'm just going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, Milk Chocolate Shade at the top here, um, just to, as my transition. And I'm just going to take that on a fluffy Zoeva 228 crease brush. Really messy, I'm not doing this really neat. I just want to create a bit of definition again. I think I'm going to take the shade Kathleen Lights um, just because it's just really, really, really pretty. A coppery gold shade mixed together, but look at the light bouncing of that. How beautiful is this shade? I wish I'd taken close it before I use it because now I'm going to get massive fingers in the way, but I'm going to be using it that. And I think I'm just going to pop up all over the lid. Colours are so easy to use as well. Why is it so expensive to get you here, Colourpop? <laughs> and then, just because I like to smack it out a little bit, I'm going to take my chocolate bar palette again. And I'm going to take the shade Semi Sweet, which is this one just here, and I'm going to pop it through just the outer corner of the crease. Actually, I'm going to drag that down underneath just a little bit as well. And then I'm not very good at it, but I'm going to attempt some winged liner just because you've got to go all out for Christmas. Some winged liner, so I'm going to pop that on. And I'm just using the Maybelline New York Matte Ink Liquid Liner. Hmm, actually that didn't turn out too bad. <laughs> now let's try and get the other one to match. <laughs> Okay, actually, I didn't think I did too badly there. And then if you want to go ahead and pop false lashes on, I'm, not, I'm just going to use mascara. And I'm going to use my good favourite, the Wake Me Up by Rimmel Mascara. Just, this is the one that I bang on about all the time that smells of cucumber. There you go, so that's the eyes done. And then for lips, I've got two different options. One being a nude, so I'm gonna show you what the nude one looks like. Um, this is one of the NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks and this one in the shade Bedtime Flirt. So I'm just gonna pop that one on and show you what that one looks like. I absolutely love this colour. It's super flattering, really, really pretty. Um, and yeah, there's nothing bad I, I really do not like about this. It's not sticky, it dries really quickly, and it just it just looks stunning. So that's the first lip look. Or well, the one I am very much swayed to is a bright red lip for Christmas. And yeah, so the one I'm going to be applying now is a booty by Colourpop Celebi Stick. Look at the colour, it's so pretty. Well, it's coming out a little bit more orange on camera, but this is a really vibrant, true, true red. I literally am obsessed with these. You cannot feel them on the lips at all. They're just so comfortable to wear and they just look amazing. So this is my finished festive makeup look. I really, really loved how it turned out this year. I'm, I'm definitely gonna be wearing this on Christmas day, made for a party. Um, yeah, I really, really love this look. So oh, thank you so, so much for watching. If you really did enjoy this video and you like this makeup look, then please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. You click up here, there should be a little circle of my face and you can subscribe to me. It'd be lovely to have more of your roses here on my channel. And then if you click in this little box down below, take you to my previous video, which I filmed a lush haul. So that'd be awesome. And yeah, I will see you guys next week.